Here we are in 3ds Max and I have the front loader from the last part open and I want to start off by talking about streamlining your project because as I mentioned in an earlier video VR is essentially a video game and video games are reliant on the hardware that they run on so I take a project that runs nicely on a modern computer open it up on let's say a very old computer or maybe a very inexpensive computer and I get something like a slideshow instead of nice smooth motion. So from an early stage, you always want to keep that in mind. And one of the main, um, let's say, metrics that affect the performance is the number of polygons in the scene. Now, if I, for example, hover over my perspective viewport and hit seven on the keyboard, this is going to bring up the statistics. So right now this is telling me the number of polygons in the scene. Right now it's 2 million. So is this too much? Is this too little? Well, there's no such thing as uh, necessarily too little, but whether or not does it give us the fidelity, an acceptable amount of fidelity for um, its expense. And when I say expense, I don't mean it's monetary expense, but it's computational expense. So more complex objects will require more hardware in terms of uh, for calculation. And so um, that will slow things down in terms of performance. So um, the only way to really know in the end whether or not this is good enough is really to test out on the hardware. So it's always a good idea to have not necessarily, obviously you can't have every possible permutation of hardware out there but perhaps something like a low-end, a medium spec, and a high-end machine for testing purposes. Um, but what we can do at this point without much testing is at least see um, the number of polygons on the, on, in the individual objects in here. So if I try selecting any of them right now, you can see that the statistics don't change because it's showing us the total. Now, what I want to know is how many polygons are the objects are in the objects that I'm selecting. So to do that, I'm going to hit the plus sign here and go into configure viewports, statistics, and then total plus selection. And now you can see that it adds the number of polygons for the selected objects. So now this starts giving me a better idea on how quote unquote expensive each object is. So for example, if I select this tire, I could see it's 5,000 polygons. If I select Maybe, for example, this rear panel, I can see it's only 226. So at this point, you may want to start selecting things and basically making a judgment call on whether or not this is 100% necessary to get the impression that you want to the user um, without taking a too much or without it being too expensive. So, for example, if I look underneath, you can see that there's a lot of parts that potentially a user would not see unless they stick their head uh, under the tractor or under the front loader. Um, they may not even see things like the, this piping, this engine, or, for example, like this, um, this looks like an, uh, an ignition coil. So, for example, if I select the tire now, this is obviously something that we pro we, obviously something we don't want to delete. Um, it's very big. It's one of the first things that the eyes sees when we look at this front loader. Um, so this is something that we'll never get uh, rid of. But if we take a look, each tire is 5,000 polygons. And if I go to something like the ignition coil here, this is 1,500. So it's a fairly large percentage of the tire. And, you know, is it something that we really need? So, you know, this is a good candidate for deletion, for example. Selecting something like the, uh, this part here, you can see it's only 100. So you can get an impression on whether or not, you know, is this really 100% necessary? Um, so you can start going in and selecting some of the smaller objects um, and start making decisions on whether or not they should be deleted or uh, replaced with something that's much uh, lower in terms of its detail.